We're live. <sighs> Where's Clarence? Fuck, no one's watching. Nobody cares. Oh, we can read the chat? Pull up the chat. <laughs> and turn that up. Yeah. No, no. not with the chat. Could you just make it like a... You can pop out the screen and make it big. Like zoom in. This, I have the chat here. Oh, the chat is up. Oh, we can just read it off the screen. Oh. It's, uh, there we go. I can do it for you, actually. It's okay, so it is. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, Mark Scanlon is in the chat again. I want to see them. <laughs> I can't see. Just, yeah. Someone said drugs. Uh, there's a lot of drugs. What is Clarence's current preferred cycle? My God. I love Sarms. Does Clarence approve Seek Sleep? He hasn't tried it yet. Uh, lads, 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 and more lads. G Tong lads. What's today's topic? Uh, whatever you want it to be, really. Cla chances of Clarence seeing a powerlifting comp. Any oh, chance, God. Clarence? No chance. Oh, a powerlifting competition? I actually did powerlifting, a powerlifting competition twice. You, wait, wait, you did so, one in Hayden. What was the other yeah, one? and well, I did a, a small one in Belfast. <laughs> Would you ever do one seriously? Um, like a reasonable one. I'd love to, you know, just train power, I think, but maybe not compete. I don't know. Because uh, then I'd have to, you know, change to, well, not have to, but to be competitive, I'd have to, like, change my technique a lot. Okay. I do low bar squats, wide grip, bench, sumo deadlift. Yep. To be competitive, and I don't really approve of those lifts. <laughs> really, I don't like doing those lifts. Would you not want to do one with legit technique, for example? Like just do the way you normally do things. Yeah, I can, but then I won't be competitive. Okay. okay. I think people will still find that cool to watch, but yeah, you know, I could just do that in a gym, like a training session. Yeah, and still get you know the same amount of views or whatever. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Fitz, how's giraffe life going in Japan? Giraffe life, it's not as giraffe life as I thought. We're not that weird. I, we, we definitely are like the tallest, but no one gives a shit. Me and you are definitely the tallest people in the country right now. Yeah, but yeah. But like but, no one cares. No. Yeah. It's not like, yeah, people are like, ooh, white people. No, they're just like no. totally fucked off into their own world. They're like, why are they so sweaty? <laughs> That's what they're thinking. It's true. Uh, Callum wants to know if we can all have a BJJ match against each other. We might actually see Clarence do a bit of Jiu Jitsu, maybe. Yeah. Let's we'll see how it goes. And maybe in Korea. In which case, we'll have a four on four. <laughs> Does that work? Or a one on one on one on one. Height and miles, my lifting buddy. Don't know that. Clarence do a crosser camp. When are you guys meeting Yoshiko? You know, who's Yoshiko? I don't know. Yoshiko? I have no idea. No, no idea what that is. Do try puffer fish. Oh yeah, so puffer fish is the poison one. Yeah, you'd I'd actually love like, to try. You'd it. actually, you would generally yeah. like to try that. Uh, I feel like I've tried. It. Orange Barnacle says, "How would the four of you rank in a hundred meters sprint right now?" I would put money on myself. I'll, I've beaten Fitz in the only sprint we've done. Ten so. meters up a hill where we, I didn't know it was a race. You said let's race, and then we ran up the hill. But anyway, I put money on myself. But the only person I'd be worried about is Zach. Uh, yeah. Do you not think Clarence who would win though? No, Clarence didn't you tear your hamstring sprinting against what? Well, how many like meters? Hundred, the length of a GA field. Oh, I, I'd win. Would you? Yeah, I'd win. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, oh lads, we can see it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm not seeing a hundred. <laughs> Give me a proper warm up. <laughs> it's dangerous if you haven't like trained. Sprinting. Yeah, it really, really is dangerous. dangerous. No, I'd be like that's one thing you don't fuck around with sprinting. <laughs> um. Andrew wants to know when are you guys come to Australia. You're actually going to Australia soon, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Uh, end of July, but I didn't want people to know that. Thanks. Oh shit! <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I thought you said in the video. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, someone wants to know how much you weigh, Clarence. Um, at the moment, I probably lost weight yesterday because I, all I ate was like uh, the rice bowls. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but then uh, probably gained like three kilos after the meal I ate there. Okay. Because we bought like a load of sushi. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, I, I was like 96 kilos before I came here. I don't know now. 
Are you going to train in the Japanese and Korean national team athletes? So we're training tomorrow with Toshiki, and there might be a chance we'll train with some of the Koreans, but I don't see it happening. I don't think no. they will. We'd like to, obviously, but yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think we've. Uh... There's other reasons we're going there as well. Like, yeah, yeah. You have like two friends over there, isn't it? I have a friend over there. Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, are we going to try your Toshiki squat challenge when you're in Japan? What's the squat challenge? Is it the two hundred? Oh, is it a pig two? squat thing? No, that's uh, the Finnish guy. Yeah, Milko Tokola. Oh. Yeah. Is Tashiki's 200 for reps? He also did 220 for reps, I think. In any case, no. Yeah. <laughs> uh, ben says, going to try and find some ASIC 727 Tigers while well over there. Question mark. I don't like them. No, neither do I. I'm not a fan of those shoes. The only reason I'd find those shoes over here is so I could sell them in Europe for an insane amount of money. But I think they cost like. Three hundred dollars over here or something. Yeah, the still app. they get mental money at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Willy Willy says, "Pull it slower." Ray's got money on you. Yeah, Ray's a sensible man. <laughs> uh, when are we meeting Tashiki? So we met him today. Uh, just said hello quickly, but tomorrow I think we'll be doing a bit of a uh, bit of training with him. We're training with him tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, I think we can all agree he's in insane shape. He's crazy shape at the moment. Yeah. And he's tan. Yeah, yeah. really yeah. tan. Yeah, he's really tan. Uh, Frank says, Where can I buy Zach's awesome hippie lifting pants? Two ones from the, the Zubas, yeah, yeah, right. Z U B A Z Zubas, Zubas, Zubas. So much cons free to sprint needs to happen. There's someone asked, uh, how veganism is going in Japan, yes, honestly, so far it's pretty hard, like compared to like the UK and Ireland or any other European country. Like, I feel like you can just walk into any place in the UK and find at least one vegan option but here oh it's so hard you have to ask there's you know the language barrier too um i went into like multiple convenience stores and yeah there's there's nothing vegan really um yeah it's it's pretty bad <laughs> and runner boy who actually could be a massive challenge for the 100 meter sprint if he was here <laughs> a name like that uh is working out in his garage right now uh, there we go there we go. Are you so going to uh, be doing 20 by 10 squats? 20 by 10. On the minute. <laughs> Are you guys going to do a squat comp with each other? So there's not going to be a squat comp, including Tashiki, but I think Clarence and Tashiki are going to have a bench off. Um, and Strip press. Strip press off. Yeah. He's going to beat me by like 40 kilos and that, probably. <laughs> Share his fact is saying... Low body fat equals more jacked. And I don't think that's true. I think it definitely has an influence on someone looking jacked. Mm -hmm. But if you're just skinny and have low body fat, you don't look jacked at all. Yeah. Tashiki looks thick. Yeah, he's dense. Yeah, he's he has mm -hmm. a bussy. He has a bad bussy. <laughs> uh, how does Zach feel being a giraffe in the language of penguins? Same as what we said before. Like, I don't, I don't, no one notices anyone in Tokyo. No one gives a fuck about like, like you just do you follow the rules and you just like don't give a fuck. It's kind of nice to be fair. Yeah. Nobody speaks at all on the streets. No one. Yeah. The streets are silent. That yeah, is yeah. the biggest culture shock I think I've ever yeah. had in my life. Yeah. It's like post apocalyptic. Yeah. And Clarence's thoughts on S23. The <gasps> same question. Uh, S23 is the normal. Oh, SARM 23. Yeah, 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 that's the one. The S23, it's a good phone. <laughs> like a, a, yeah. uh, why do people doing BJ all skinny fat? So most of them will just do BJJ, or a lot of times at the moment, people are older athletes, so in their 20s or 30s or 40s, and they don't do any gym work most of the time. And if they do, it's like once a week, and they might be less well educated on what they should be doing for strength training. So you generally end up with, you, you don't burn as much calories doing jiu-jitsu as people think they do. Uh, you spend a lot of time, you know, in kind of isometric positions or on your back. If you do have muscle though, yeah, uh, it's insanely good cardio and people with muscle who do cardio tend to get fucking shredded. Yeah. 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 That's like what, um, Nikki Rodriguez, Yes. He all he does when he goes and works out is sets of twenty on everything. Mm -hmm. And then he's doing cardio workouts through jujitsu all fucking all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's you know, it's no wonder he's just absolutely ripped. 
Yes. Yeah. But if you're a skinny fat person, you're not doing anything to change your muscles. Yeah. No, you're not going to put on muscle. Yeah. And your caloric expenditure per minute as you get to is going to be lower as well because yeah. less Low muscle. battery. So yeah. or, or. we're already on it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so it's probably the reason a lot of people are, you know, you can be less athletic and less deadly talented and and progress at jiu-jitsu or, or do it quite well, you know. Um, not obviously an elite level, but compared to if you were a powerlifter or a weightlifter or, or sprinting or something, you know, you wouldn't really see much progress if you're not as athletic talented, whereas jiu-jitsu, you can learn a skill and you can slowly get somewhere. So people are more inclined to do it, I think, consistently a little bit. Um, John MD says, Zach, what's it been like training with the B team guys? I haven't trained with them. I've like put them through that workout or whatever. Okay. But I, I haven't trained with them. No jiu jitsu. No. What's it like training with them? How do they how are they to coach? They're they're good to coach. Yeah. yeah. I just I think um like the best jujitsu guys are usually already kind of just genetically jacked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so it's like the weight room doesn't like, they're just topping off. They're just doing what they need to in the gym. Like they're not really trying to change much. Yeah. When they do, like it can really hurt someone if they're uh, an efficient squatter or very, like, just a strong person in general. Yeah, they're gonna push themselves too hard in the gym. Yeah, like those guys just—it's the opposite of strength training. What they do. Yeah. So much cardio. Yeah. Someone is asking when are any of you going to upload a video from Japan? So go to Zach's channel right now, and there's a video up. Is that? Oh no! Oh, isn't it? No, it's not up. Okay. It's me and Clarence are. Putting one up tomorrow, I think. At so, the same time, anyway. Yeah. 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 Two vlogs. So, did you get to Shiki in today's one? Yeah, I'll throw that in there. Um, like 20, oh. Yeah. Spoilers. Don't, don't. Not a chance. <laughs> oh, God. Um, C Mac G says, Fitz, what's your best one? Share them guess. both to your email. What? Let oh, me, thanks. Let me guess. Is it 512? No. What was it? I did under five minute miles when I was like, 18, 19, 20 oh, okay, sure. for months and months. Yeah. But what was like last year? What was your best five minute mile? Um, five minute mile best mile. Last year was like 514. At 100 and... Five, well, at 102. 103. Like sure. a, five, a five minute mile, what's that? It goes into like... A... It's three minutes and seven seconds for a kilometer. Like, uh, like let's give an example. Like wait, wait, oh, like, wait. Is, is, is it like clean and jerk in 200 kilos? Or... No, no, not at all. Feel Probably like... clean and jerk like 160 at like... Yeah. That's that's our yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah actually yeah yeah yeah, so, yeah. 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 it's five minute isn't something that you genetically have to be good at to do mm. if you train hard enough pretty yeah. much yeah. well not pretty mm. much everyone but a reasonably athletic person could do it yeah if you it's to be strong and what's to do the it. world it's record then oh, oh it's, it's crazy fifty oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Jesus yeah, yeah it's like it's, it's just if you're like a good high school sprinter you are a good high school runner you. Do like four twenty five as a male. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how's BJJ going on? Um, pretty good, except for the fact that I still can't get this elbow straight. It's getting better, but it fucked me up. Uh, but it's entirely my own fault. I just didn't do any lifting or any mobility. But it's going good. Uh, I really enjoy it. Uh, I like what jiu-jitsu is that you can just learn a new skill and immediately implement it. Whereas, like, if you take changing my technique with Anton, it takes like th- three months before you're like, oh, now I can really use it yeah. in a meaningful way. Whereas Jiu-Jitsu, someone would be like, do this. And then you can immediately, you can actually not even learn something. You can see it on Instagram or YouTube and go try it and just do it straight away. Doesn't mean you yeah. can get it on people, but you can yeah. just, you can, yeah. it's so Figure fun. Figure out how to make it work. Yeah. Carlitos da Silva says, Clarence, is your shoulder ready for lifting again? Apparently he injured it some time ago. Um, it's just it's scary. Like, you know, um, yeah. like I snatched one thirty a few days ago. It didn't hurt at all. But if I went heavier than that, you know, there might be a chance I'd tweak it because after the injury, I tweaked it twice. So I'm just very scared oh, did of you? tweaking it again. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, but funny enough, I, I can bench press no problem. So at least that's like an upper body exercise I can progress with. Okay, and you know, just put like stress, a controlled, a controlled stress on like the shoulder. You like benching, don't you? It's I good. do like benching. It's one of my favorite exercises. Yeah. Bench two hundred. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Will everyone go vegan for the trip? We actually couldn't even if we wanted. Actually, to. I came up with a funny video idea. What? Maybe for like the last day. Yes. In uh, Korea, all of you. Yeah. Can go on like a raw vegan diet, like this 
the most extreme <laughs> vegan diet since oh, you're yes. eating like fucking meat every single meal. Oh shit, I think the chat is breaking up. <laughs> is that is that is that internet breaking? Oh no, <laughs> Brit- isn't that, is that a funny idea? Though? God, what's a raw vegan diet? Like raw food, just like the hardest version of vegan diet. So like only food the most and depressing bacon. vegan diet you can do. But like, what, okay, so raw food. What you, what's as opposed to- like lettuce, like salad all day long. So I'm I just don't. <laughs> you can't I, eat rice. So like, you can't eat potatoes. Yeah, no, no, no cooked food. Cook. Oh, no cook. No, What's yeah, the no. point of the raw? What's why the raw? Uh, because people think it's healthier, but it's not. <laughs> oh, healthier. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, Jack Mossley is asking the question everyone's asking: Who out of the four of us would win the sumo wrestling competition? I'm going to say Gurf because he's 122 kilos. This morning. Hey, hey, he's 120. Short 120, 120 kilos. It's 120, Darren. Keep it good. Five foot two and a half and 120 kilos. Your BMI is off the charts. Healthy. Off the charts, healthy, I think. Um, we need. Cher said we need to delete the word bussy from everyone's vocabulary, but I'm uh, I'm, I'm 100% behind it. I'm keeping it in there. Yeah. Uh, for the records, a bussy is a boy, P U S S Y, your asshole. Hate to interview. Now we're making it. Oh, it's strong. the back. It's when your back is so big, it has a little ridge. It's either that or second back ass. So yeah. you guys pick. It's either a bussy or, or upper ass or upper, upper ass. back ass, upper back upper ass, back ass. <laughs> whichever you want. But it's in the lower back. This may be one of the strongest couches ever seen. Possibly. Just... I feel like I saw that chat forever ago. That's top chat. This is live chat. That's just I don't know how they pick top chat. No, these are just a lot. Yeah, it's a different sequence the way they come up. And the down arrow thing there. Name your favorite squatters. Toshiki. Toshiki. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Toshiki or maybe. I really like Gabriel's squat. Yeah, Gabriel's. But almost nobody can make those positions happen. Gabriel's front squat, I think, is my favorite front squat. Yeah. I think Rich Piana. <laughs> I don't think you've seen him squatting. <laughs> Trust. Drops the proverbial microphone. I think it's Rich Piana, <coughs> Rich Piana, or Jason Genova. Or Jason Blaha. Jason, Jason Blaha. Blaha. That's a good one. Yeah. Who is your favorite squatter? Um. Yeah, I'll come back to it. I think the Shiki might be my. Uh, we all got, you all going to do a challenge together against each other. Uh, I think Clarence has some ideas, but he hasn't told us exactly what yet. I just have an idea for a challenge video, but I haven't thought of any challenges. I don't know, Really? Yeah. Should try that. Come on. Uh, Ray Trump says you're rocking the Magnum PI look. You are, to be fair. Yeah. I, you know, I'm in Tokyo. I want to give it a little, yeah. I want to give it a little tropical yeah. summer Tokyo vibe. Quite stylish here, aren't they? They're pretty close. They're pretty stylish. Yeah. yeah. They put the work into the clothes. Yeah. I feel like walking around in like a sweaty white t shirt is not the look. Who's the guy that said he met me in Cork Wellington Club talking about anime? Vladimir <laughs> Roosevelt. And it, yeah, don't I, don't, I don't remember that guy. Um, Tim Wise, Zach looks fucked. You fucked that? No, I'm good. Good. Uh, I can't find Clarence's first interview with Tomic. Any chance to re-upload? Oh, I saw that comment. What's the story there? Uh, I didn't touch it. It's, oh, okay. a, it's Tomic that probably unlisted it or something. Oh, okay. And he's How many people are on right I think now? he just got like... Um, yeah. Pretty nice. He got like a, a job and he just didn't want people in that company seeing oh, videos fair. of him online. Oh, so okay. I think okay, he just okay. like uh, deleted his channel. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Rob Poutney said, should stance in the back squat be the same as overhead squat snatch? I find my stance be more powerful, a little narrow with feet, more straight in the back versus feet out and wide in the snatch. So that's appropriate. So what, it, what you're saying there is generally the way it should be. I don't think... A lot of times people worry, should my back squat sense be the same as my snatch or anything like that? You just got to do what feels appropriate per exercise. Like the transfer isn't massively important as long as you're doing each exercise to a good quality. So generally the overhead squat would be wider because you need to get your hips a little bit lower. Uh, squat, you generally want more quad recruitment. So they're going to be a little bit more narrow, a little bit further straight ahead, depending on your mobility. A lot of questions about Clarence's watch. Asking if it's ingrained into his wrist or can it come off? <laughs> um, serious question as well. He said serious question. Serious question. Yeah. Yeah, it's ingrained. Sure. <laughs> Clarence, have you ever smoked weed? Is weed vegan? Nice weed to see a vegan. room full of guys. Happy gay boy summer. It is gay boy summer, isn't it? Keep jujitsu gay. If you're not gay in 2023, you're 
pretty fucking gay, dude. <laughs> Um, does Clarence have any interest in BJJ? Honestly, I just don't have any interest in any martial arts and never really did. Um, and with BJJ, it's really just the fact that you're um, like in close contact with someone. Like, I don't know, I just find that kind of weird and I wouldn't be comfortable, you know, yeah. like just being that close to random people. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It sounds kind of weird, but yeah. I'm fully expecting Garth to turn around and hug Clarence. <laughs> Yeah, in direct response. Uh, would you consider strength standard for BJJ in terms of weight, body weight ratio, or, or how many raccoons you should be able to take in a fight? Uh, well, if you can't take at least fifteen raccoons in a fight, you're you're very you're way too weak. You're wasting your time. In terms of weight and body weight ratio, uh, generally I see athletes if we're squatting, you know, minimum kind of one and a half times body weight for jiu-jitsu athletes is, might be a little bit lower of a standard, and then the rest. You know, it depends on what movements they're doing. You're kind of looking for muscle mass, quality of movement. Um, getting stronger is definitely very nice for jiu-jitsu athletes, but it really depends if they're willing to take some time off uh, and get a bit stronger or if they're willing to take a little downtime. Uh, a lot of athletes aren't willing to do that, but you can certainly you can get there. Any thoughts on that, Zach? Mm -hmm. Strength standard for jiu-jitsu athletes. Do you have any numbers you're like? Uh, I just say your weight class and then... Usually try to do it as many reps as you can. Okay, back squat or anything. Yeah, anything. Cool. I like um, I like front squat for reps. Okay, for the body for the weight yeah. class. Yeah, and they can cross their hands or they can put straps on. Yeah. To it's be like, fair, no jujitsu people have a front rack. Yeah. They don't. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, this is that external rotation gets yeah. murdered. That's like one of my favorite things. Or pull ups for reps, or bench body weight for reps, or any weighted pull ups. Yeah. What, okay. kind of, what kind of weight are you going from that? I don't know. I don't have a standard for it, but I like, yeah, I don't. You just get a bit of progression. Yeah. I think like grown ass men. I mean, I worked with elite guys, mm -hmm. so it's like they all try to kind of hit around the same numbers. Okay. What kind of numbers are they pull-ups with? Oh, I forget. I forget. Any, Shit. No, no, like I think freaks. some of them had, had like 50 kilo dips. Okay. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good dips too, like quality dips. Yeah. Nice. Okay. That's good. Uh, Cartilas. The Silva, which to me could be a fake name for Carlos Nazaire, says, "What's your opinion on Carlos Nazaire?" I like Carlos Nazaire. He's yeah. in sick shape. He's in crazy <clears throat> good shape. Do people in that good a shape make other people want to do weightlifting? They yes. do. They do. They really do. They do. That's a good point. And there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, Spencer wants to know if I squat and press for the rest of my life will be fine. More than fine. It'll be great. Did you del deliberately not invite Se Seb AI? <laughs> we can't because Seb has been uploaded to the cloud now and he just <laughs> operates the app and he just... Yeah, it's all deep fake. Yeah, yeah. He... Seb is not... <laughs> Seb's been dead for years. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's, I it's... actually... And it's so weird because his Reddit still responds as well. Yeah. Who's running that? I think he's got... Is that the... in the It's his AI. It's he's all in the cloud. Yeah, he's... Uh... Literally, all you see of Seb is just chat GPT. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. <coughs> He's a, he achieves singularity. He's one with the AI yeah. app now. So Japan actually have really strict laws on AI use as well. So yeah, we could. He's use. really not. He, we can't even open up our chat window with him here. Uh, Unmex said knee cave in during power position extension of snatch should be addressed. Uh, some people do have this, and it's not always an issue. What would be an issue is if we see immediate knee valgus in the pull. A lot of times, people's knees will come in immediately. If we've knee valgus as your knees pass. Um, there's a certain amount of knee valgus in the extension or at the power position where uh, I'm not concerned for like injury or anything like that, but I am concerned for power production. So usually if you're if you've got knee valgus at the power position or in the extension, you're probably looking at like lower back flexion or upper back flexion kind of traveling downstream. So I'd be addressing it from that kind of angle. You're getting less of a quality position. Uh, if it's extreme enough that you notice it, then it probably should be addressed but at the same time you're definitely not pushing your knees out in the extension you're not pushing your knees out in the power position or anything like that it's uh it's more natural toe tracking is what you're looking for ray trump says which one of you guys has the biggest hands i'd imagine zach and hooker of a fat bear i assume you have the biggest hands do you? yeah i got some good mittens you got some mitts i've got some longings oh yeah i got some mitts uh, got long fingies oh dara's long mitts as well Everyone's holding hands. Oh, that's oh, like exactly. smallest hands. Uh, oh my god! Yeah. Smallest hands with biggest total. That's why my snatch is shit. Oh, Max, did we get this video about the changes in Zach's technique and his story? Yep, absolutely. We'll be doing. 
did some clean and jerk. Two snatch and clean and jerk. Yeah. How do you feel about the changes? Oh, uh, they're fine. I don't know. I don't. I used to ha- do like the epiphany type of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, coach, I I learned how to snatch fine. Like I, I yesterday my snatch came to me. It's like once you've been doing it for over seven years. Yeah, those epiphanies are just fake. Mm. Yeah, you know. But sometimes, so, as a beginner, you do get something where it's like, "Oh, that makes sense," and you can snatch. Yeah, of course. 10 kilos, of course. like, but those run out. Yeah, and like, so I'm just taking it and having fun with it. Yeah, it's nice to not have expectation for load or not give a fuck. Yeah, you know, I'd start getting frustrated and be like, "Fuck you guys! I'm just gonna yeah. go back and do what I want," but I don't care enough. Think about the thing people <clears> forget: <throat> weightlifting is about physical development as well. And they'll keep looking for that, like, click yeah. for something to happen. And you're like, oh, you could just train for three months and you'll get better as well. Yeah. Uh, most watched old, old video, like, obsessed over. Ooh, that's a good question. For me, it's, uh, I mean, Adam Melgov's, uh competition. It's like a local Russian meet. It might even be Russian nationals. And then uh, Adam Melgov and Opti Alkadov snatching by all things Jim. Let's go to Cloak Off's YouTube channel, arranged by oldest yeah. first, and the, yeah, the old videos. I watched them so many times. That's Cloak Off's 205 Snatch and Cloak Off's squatting video with Vasily. Vasily's oh, yeah. like threes and fives, and Cloak yeah. doing like five second pauses. That's sick. Batman I love when Batman does as well, and Robert Dill from Average Bros. Robert Dill. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Jeez, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Watch those of those. I think probably uh Ilya's 2014 prep on YouTube. They're just like yeah. I'm guaranteed yeah. those last few weeks. Unbelievable. Last two months you're just guaranteed a good training video no matter what that you click on. Um what rank is Clarence in Overwatch 2? I don't like Overwatch though, so there's your answer. <laughs> it's a bad game. Can you all squat or injured fastest to into reps at 100 kilo or more? God, that one was from so long ago, dude. Yeah. Top, yeah well, that was, this is live chat. Yeah, it's on live chat now, yeah. It's a lot of questions. So, 155 people here. When's Tuesday in Kazakhstan happening? Tuesday in Kazakhstan has already happened, but Thursday what, in Just Kazakhstan. look at this thing up here, bro. And just, no, there's loads of questions. You're missing loads of them. Oh, no. too bad. It's, you know. What, what happens uh, Sundays in Kazakhstan? Rest. Rest, rest. rest. and as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Thursday in, in Kazakhstan is actually being recorded this week with special guest. Um, you can probably guess. <laughs> Thursday in Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. Who do you think will win the 89s in Paris? So who are the names? So probably Carlos, probably Nino, if, if they get there. Kedemar is there. Carlos, Nino, uh, Lee Dayin, those four. Four, I would think. Carlos is. Uh, did he get injured? Or... Yeah, so a sink uh, fell on his ankle. Wait, isn't it just going to be Lee Diane? Probably. Oh, yeah. Probably. Like, isn't it just going to be him? You think he'll win? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Carlos like, is probably out total him, I think. And Nino. But he. Yeah. I mean. You think Lee, you're putting Lee Diane? Oh, yeah. Unless they send Tian Tao, but I think most people think that Lee Dian's just more consistent. Lee Dian just doesn't really miss lifts. Yeah. So, like, if you can do that 180 in comp and clean and jerk into the 220s, it's uh, the only chance I could see is Nino or Carlos. He could get another, he could potentially get another world record. I guess another question is or Olympic who, who is actually going to compete? Like, That's the thing. Maybe yeah. like all of them or most of them will drop out. <laughs> Yes, that, right. that has happened in every single Olympic yeah i that was so that's such like an underrated part that like these yeah. incredibly heavy hitters just don't go that's cloak off yeah yeah KF. KF. it happens every kind of that was yeah. insane yeah. and then he ended up getting retroactively popped before cloak off got retroactively popped. did a KF get retroactively yeah popped? he was like the first one. Oh, I didn't know. yeah so he he had his olympic medal already when he was a junior at the 94s kajimurat yeah, because I'm more. Know, I'm just making that up. How it says it, probably pronounce it or whatever. I, I don't. I guarantee you, all four of those won't be there at the Olympics. <laughs> that would be <laughs> just, so funny. It, it would just be. <laughs> It'd still be strong. Yeah. I mean, like, it's still be. There's 89 is such a. There's definitely massive kind of just random doping stories happening, like coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Afterwards, yeah. someone's going to be yeah. injured and all this shit. Cher is asking. I have a question for the seeker guys. Couldn't you fake an injury at home? So you can hide and not do a cycle, not tested. It depends no. what country you're in. If you're in like one of the developed countries, you get tested wherever the fuck you are at Europe. 
whereabouts form is filled in. Yeah, it's where you have to tell them where you are at all times. So, but if you're in a country where they don't do national testing, you can fuck. You can do whatever you want. You don't need to fake an injury and stay at home. And like the likelihood that the ITA is going to track you down is just yeah, yeah, not going to happen. I think that might have been sadder because we were talking about Lou faking his back injury. Oh yes, okay, okay. So that might have been sadder. Uh, I want all your thoughts on why Carlos hasn't been popped yet. I Wait, actually don't you guys know. are on the blue faking his back injury uh, train? <laughs> Tell me more about this. Do you think he did? No, I want to hear what you say. We, we, were, we were doing a reaction to the 80 I, months. I, I, yeah. also, I remember and, the uh, joke, yeah. We were, we were literally just spitballing and people fucking... That's what, yeah, I was like, that's why I'm interested in that take. He's yeah. like... People are gonna really, really not people like people. Upset. Upset. Yeah. People I mean, are DMing look, me on Instagram. The reality is, like, it's heroic and it's got great narrative. Yeah. So now they have something to believe in. Yeah. And for you to call it not true, I'm not saying anything. I'm not a part of this discussion. I'm just breaking <laughs> down. You know. Yeah. For you to say that, that's going after their personality. Yo, that's a problem with the. Um, Go ahead. Jim. Uh, that's no. a problem with the no. with the reactions those reaction videos you're talking for like an hour and a half watching a competition a lot of lifts at the competition you don't have something directly to say and all that time in between yeah. and you end up just chatting like two friends chatting and then you're like oh should you probably fake that back injury like we'd be having a conversation here right, say, right. and then suddenly there's like a hundred people dms yeah, yeah wanting yeah. to burn you yeah you're literally after shitting on their god yeah, I think this is the most common question in weightlifting. Do you think Lasher can do 500? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like every live stream I do. We got asked that at the seminar on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Somebody I just we all said no. no. We said, yeah, he next can, question. he can do it. He's never going to do it though. No. Maybe with straps and but not on the same on day. A crazy, yeah. He could do it in the same training block, I bet. Yeah, but like snatch the straps on the floor to probably 230 realistically, and then. Yeah, 270. But, uh, Has 270 ever been clean? Sorry, Didn't Ben Yellen clean 270? Supposedly, Klockov broke his shoulder trying to jerk 275. From behind the neck, wasn't it? No, no, from blocks. And it was the second time attempting it that day, and he broke his shoulder doing it. It's in his book. Mm -hmm. What um, year was that, you know? Oh, was it Was it Dmitry Klockov? Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Um, I mean, Vyacheslav Klockov, I bet you did some crazy shit yes i bet a lot of those dudes on that team yeah. we don't have any video no, 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 no. none so, of them supposedly rigor jerked 270 from the rack after he retired that's a 100 kilo or less lift i think oh, that's bullshit Ares Ush says our prescribed medications say adderall allowed for most competitive are allowed most competitive environments if so, what would stop people from faking it wouldn't that also kind of screw people over who need it to perform yeah best? so the TUE, yeah. Ooh. The problem with like a load is hard to get. Yeah. So a lot of people might actually need testosterone. Some people might need Adderall. Some people might need modafinil. All of which would be really performance enhancing. But now Vada just cut it. They said it doesn't matter if you need it. If you really need it, you. But don't. if you're prescribed it as there's a child, still, there's still certain things. So like testosterone, it doesn't matter. Well, yeah, I know that, but yeah. but um. I think amphetamines. You can have Adderall. I think yeah. it just depends. There's certain like. Uh, I don't think you'd ever get testosterone bodies. as a a non-masters athlete. I don't think you'd ever get a TUE for testosterone. I don't. Never. Think. No. No fucking way. No. no. So there's a no. kid, Connor Dwyer, swimmer, tried to get one and then obviously didn't get it, and then he was doing the um, pellet. He had the pellet. Okay. Mm. And uh, was popped. It's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like a normal ass looking swimmer dude, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. 29. Yeah. Had low T. Got the pellet. Because like the pellet is something that they do in clinics. They don't do that for like athletes who just yeah. inject. Yes. So yeah, he got popped for that. Pretty funny. Uh Carlitos the Silva said, if any of you are feeling strong, what is your favorite lift to perform? Probably back squat, or if it's the day, maybe a really heavy snatch. Zach, you're in good shape. Favorite lift? Snatch. Snatch. Yeah. When I'm in good shape, like, what's that? Like, when I'm in peak shape, just like, or just feeling good. It's a favorite lift. What's like, I guess, what my favorite lift is? 
Yeah. Um, to do bench press, honestly. Huh. <laughs> like, I just like the feeling of bench press. It's just easy. You just lie down. Yeah. You don't feel tired after, you know, set. Whereas, like, squatting, like, five by five, that's hard. Mm -hmm. It's rewarding, but it's not fun to do. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, bench press is honestly the most enjoyable exercise, I think. No one is expecting yeah. that answer. Yeah. Fit. Power cleans with no warm up. I knew you were going to say that. Yeah. It would be like a 140 power clean without warm up. With no warm up. Yeah. yeah. The warm up would be walking around to the seminar for an hour and a half. <laughs> and then power clean someone's very they dropped from a squat. Here's a controversial question. Was Clarence's penalty bar truly bent? <laughs> <laughs> so there's some lore behind that. Yeah, <laughs> I bent that legal, or penalty bar years ago, and then I got straightened with uh, what you call it, hydraulic press. Yes, at a, like a metal working factory thing. Yeah, um, and it was only slightly bent after that. I, I always joked it, about it being bent. Like and I, then... I snatched one ninety. Oh no, I you... snatched one ninety. Yeah, I snatched yeah. one ninety on that bar. <laughs> there's a that's the highest snatch that will ever happen on a pen lay bar um there is a the crossfit gym that i go to yeah the entire so like the bars for their classes mm. they have 20 pen lay bars no way swear to god it's the fucking coolest thing ever mm. that bar yeah. is amazing it's like the 20 what 2015 2014 or 2013 pen lay bar yeah that thing was insane I think the funny thing about that bar bend was that I kept joking it was bent, but I actually didn't really mind. Then Gabriel used it, and he was like, this bar is bent. <laughs> but also, Gabriel walked around to everybody being like, this bar is bent. Bitsy, this bar is bent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's not bent. We had a straight. Did he still clean 210 on that bar, though? What did he yeah. do with the 210 on? That was that yeah, that's a bad bar, yeah. That, yeah. That's yeah. Uh, Another joke uh, with Gabriel is that you like uh, your fat legal plates. Oh, oh yeah. he always jokes about that. <laughs> I do, I really yeah. do. He's the same though. He hates eating yeah. yeah. as well, which yeah. is really funny. Uh, uh, Glacier Zero says, "Is opening your hand in a bucket of rice actually a good forearm exercise, uh, or is it some high school football coach bullshit?" It seems like a flat old fast, no obvious way to progress. So the thing with hand in a bucket of sand or rice is it's really good for your tendons in your hand. So that kind of like isometric loading or very slow eccentric and concentric loading is good, but. In terms of forearm mass, you're not getting you're not getting any forearm break then. But it is good for these tendons in like the kind of distal tendons in your hands. It's very, very good for it. But it's not if you want to get bigger forearms, you just need to go and work on a farm or lift heavy stuff very, very frequently. Yeah, so Ganas is asking why is ultra high frequency squatting a thing in weightlifting? So usually it's as a, a skill development, so Weightlifters are squatting most days to practice their skill and keep their squat stronger. It's definitely not necessary to have a do that for a massive squat. Like less frequency is better for the the bigger squat. But for weightlifters, you need to maintain their squatting capacities near a certain level. That's why most of them will squat between four to fourteen times a week, whatever me mental number they do. Um, Callum Bud Rofi wants to know, Zach, would you ever come back into a weightlifting camp? Your numbers keep creeping higher and higher. No. No interest? No, I really don't. I don't even, like, I've been to national meets, a lot of national meets, and I've been, co I was coaching, and then now I'm not coaching. I'm just going to national meets. Yeah. And, like, I went to the Arnold, and, like, not a single part of me wanted to compete. Yeah. And that's never happened before. I think once that happens, you're just done. You yeah, I mean, I've, go, go, yeah, so I've gone to, uh, to like national meets, I've gone to jujitsu competitions, and I've been like, "Shit, I really wish I was competing right yeah, now." Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really missing out, and that is a feeling I've had my whole life. But dude, in weightlifting, like, not even close. Yeah. So, yeah, no. Two six one zero one four zero nine wants to know what everyone's strength goals are right now. Minus the squat of PB, and then probably never try squat of PB again. <laughs> If you guys want me to be completely honest, yeah, go for it. Like, this is, you know, my profession. So, like, making content and then also, you know, lifting with you guys. Like, I just want to be able to do that, like, yeah. reasonably okay and reasonably well. Like, yeah. I literally don't care about anything other than that. So, it's, I know I'll be, I would be upset if I couldn't snatch 120. Yes. You know? Yeah. So, like, that's my mindset. <laughs> you know like... what's funny about that is that is basically Gabriel's mindset at the moment. So he's like, 
he, he would like to do bigger numbers again, but he doesn't really want to do it. But what he likes doing, he said, is just kind of stay in really good shape for as long as he can. And with... just being able to hang out with the boys. Yeah, right? just, yeah. just like that. Dude, that's it. He okay. loves weightlifting. Gabriel, like, loves the act of weightlifting. More than I've seen any retired elite level weightlifter. Yeah. He just, snatching clean jerking to him is his favorite thing to do. Like, yeah. He's just, yeah. just fucking loves it. I guess um, that's a really hard thing for people who aren't where we're at to relate to. Yeah. And I'm not telling you you should. That's probably the last thing you should be doing if you're, like, pushing. Because mm -hmm. I remember when I was watching YouTube weightlifting, that is the last mindset I would have. <laughs> so, yeah, it's funny. Sometimes... When you hear someone you admire as goal changes and you feel like you're kind of connected to them a bit, you might you get a little caught up or you might guess you might feel like, oh shit, is the goal no longer worth it? But it's it's it should always be your own goal, regardless. Yes, yeah, you. Yeah, it's you, not me. Doesn't matter. You should you should want to be doing that thing if there was no social media and no one would ever see it. That's why you should be training for stuff. You know, I would still want to squat massive weights, even if I was living in the middle of the fucking Alaskan wilderness with no internet and I had a barbell in plates, I would still I would still want to do this, yeah. except for clean and jerk. So shit. Um, how long did it take for you guys to feel like competent coaches? It depends what you're coaching. Yeah. I started coaching when I was like 18. Uh, and in terms of like taking a CrossFit class, in terms of taking an SNC group in like a team or whatever, definitely probably a year and a half, two years, two and a half years around that time you feel, you start to feel competent in, delivering a message that you know is is some way correct in terms of like programming and long-term programming it definitely took a bit longer than that i w i would say i was competent in teaching people how to weightlift from the jump from when i wanted to yes but i think um there's different branches of coaching mm -hmm. there's uh strength and conditioning technique development and then athlete development yeah so like you literally can't be a competent athlete developer until you've developed the yeah. athlete yeah. so yeah, that was yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. a longer process with me like i think that the coolest coaches are the ones who have an athlete for like four or five years yeah yeah i had an athlete for two years and on the final our last meet together she pr'd everything and she got really like this nationals was stacked she got like was that the woman snatching like 90 something yeah she, she was on your channel she did 98 yeah. and then she did 114. We were really stoked with it actually. Yeah, yeah it, it was like amazing. And then, <laughs> like, she got seventh in the snatch with a 98. Fuck. At what body weight? Um, it was 87. It was a, or maybe eight, something, yeah. I don't know. But it was like mm. crazy because Maddie Rogers, Jesse Bradley, and then like a bunch of other girls were snatching 99 and 100 and higher. It was wild. That's crazy. Yeah. Drop it is crazy. It used to be, I mean, a 100 kilo snatch was like, oh, that just is never going to happen unless uh, Cheryl Hayworth is here. That was for like forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then Sarah Robles was able to do it. And then now we have tons of girls yeah, snatching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was the girl that used to lift with, kind of around the same time as Kendrick Farris? Um, she was, she's retired, long retired now, but I think, I think she might have gone to the Olympics. I'm not sure. Remember her name? She was a really good lifter. She was one of the very biggest female lifters uh, mm. for America. There was like Chad Vaughn, Kendrick, and I mean Heath. like Robin Goad. That was from a long time. No, ago. no, after her time. Um, I don't know. Nemo's asking. So Kara Head Slaughter. That's what this person's saying. Kara Heads. Kara Head Slaughter. Is that that name sounds familiar? Maybe. Oh, oh that's, Kara. That's, She's yeah, a coach like, now. I know her. Sounds familiar. Yeah. She might be doing hundred. I don't know. Uh, they have done ahead. Uh, currently doing Clarence's program. Got my first weightlifting comp in four weeks. Comp falls at the end of a deload during the strength cycle. Do I change anything or just see what happens? I guess the most optimal thing would have been planning the competition, like with the end of the program. But since that's happening and it's his first competition, yes, yeah, you shouldn't worry at all. Um, just keep following the program. Um, it can act as a taper since it's like a deload. Um, yeah, just focus on getting six out of six. Don't go for a max. Just make sure you get all the, your lifts in. The biggest thing, the biggest thing I can tell you about your first competition is do not change any foods to like don't like carb load in the morning or like eat like four yeah, pizzas. People always like ask me, like, oh, should I cut for my first competition? It's yeah. like, no, no, don't even worry about your body weight for yeah. 
like until you're weightlifting and for the, more the than funny like thing is years. if you sign up for a weight class and i mean i was <laughs> at like a local meet one of my earlier meets, I was like a kilo over. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, you're good. Yeah. Most like. <laughs> just didn't fucking yeah. care. Uh, you, like was, yeah. you, Another thing is, do not put in your PV as your opener. Oh my God. No matter okay. how good you're feeling, <laughs> yeah. no matter how confident you are, no matter how much you want to hit an MPV, you need like, to make. Yeah. I honestly your say to people, just go below your max. Like, honestly. Just oh, way below. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Way yeah. below. Yeah. Way 15 below. Kilos. 15 on each lift. It should be a use. lift that someone could run into your house. It's no, I, like I mean for like your fight, like your, oh, for last, your oh, even for your yeah, last yeah, time, yeah, yeah. Yeah. like five kilos below like your max. Yeah, yeah. There, there, you know, there used to be this thing, kind of this rule, like not a rule. It was like a, a guide. It was like you should be able to hit that lift ten times basically in training for your opener for your first comp. So it should be something that no matter even if you shit the bed, you should be able to do that yeah. as heavy as you can get with it. But when you're more experienced too, this is the this is the wild thing. If you're a grown man and let's say you snatch into the forties, so this is very rare, but you could open 10 kilos lighter than your PR, your PB. Yep. So if you were snatching 145, you could open at 135. And that sounds crazy to a lot of men who've been in this sport. Yeah, Like, no yeah, way, bro. Yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. I got to open at 140 so that my second attempt could be 145. <laughs> you know, they'll bomb out snatch. And then you'll tell them like, hey, by the way, if you snatched 140, you would have gotten a bronze medal. Yeah. yeah. If yeah. you snatched 145, you would have gotten a gold medal. Like people's expectations. I mean, if you want to win and you want to do well, the people that make lifts are always up there. And then there's, you know, if you're a freak, like I've seen CJ Cummings make two lifts uh, and just dominate the fucking everyone. Yeah, That's yeah. a different story. But a lot of people forget, like you can start very low and still get a good percentage and still win and still get medals. So that's the sport of making much. lifts, not a very You should PB. base it off your competition maxes as well. Yeah. You know? yeah. Like yeah. if you like snatch 135 in competition, but snatched 142 in training uh, for your next competition, you should just tell yourself, oh, I'm max. Is 135, not 142. Clarence, yeah. fix the hairline. Dude, <laughs> shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sane man I says, dorks. Hey, hey, fellas, I'm taking seek of sleep. And I've had bad dreams all night long. He's still tweaking the recipe to add in some good dreams. The bad dream thing is your problem. <laughs> it's pretty, no, it's pretty crazy. It only lasts for the first kind of few days when you start taking it. Uh, so it is just, it's a very, very good sign. It's a sign you're getting more of that REM sleep. So it's a great sign. But I will say they do get pretty trippy for the first few nights. It does go away though. So the interesting thing about the dream recall is it's associated with B6 efficiency. So if you have poor dream recall, B6 uh, is possibly low in your diet. So there's like some studies on this that dream recall is better when you are in sufficient levels of uh, B6. So it's one of the reasons a lot of people get kind of weird dreams for the first few nights when they take uh, seek of sleep. Um, is it vegan? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 100% certified. Oh, it's certified. certified. Yeah, it's certified. It's certified by the vegan society. Oh, man, it's water. Uh, Hassan, <laughs> we'll probably make this the last question. Oh, Hassan right. says, how do I make the sad head noises go away <laughs> when I'm on a rest day? Uh, oh honestly, if you're a if you're, if you're a beginner, you're going to be so antsy that you want to go in and do shit. Um, and I think just uh, maybe added variants that don't let you lift that heavy and then don't do so much volume. Because the reason is like, the reason I say this is like, it. I was saying it before, a lot of these guys can't produce enough stimulus if they're a beginner to like make adaptations happen in the snatch and the clean and jerk. So if you want to go in and work on technique, there's no issue in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you, you have to work on technique. So that's an ego thing. Yeah. That's... You know, like if, if you're saying, yeah, I'm just doing technique work and then you're like maxing out. Yeah. That's not technique work at all. If you're doing muscle snatches and then missing two out of every three muscle snatches, <laughs> you're not doing technique. Yeah, no, no. So like, find a way to i mean again this takes so much a lot of this takes experience and then also just uh self-awareness yeah yeah and like common sense but there this is an emotional thing that people tie into this so it's not a you know they're not they don't they're not self-aware and they yeah have a lot of emotion behind what they do so that's the other thing when, when i get athletes one-to-one -one athletes who really want to do extra sessions 
and I'm kind of more invested in them. Like I mm-hmm. want them to do well. It's as much a skill that they develop in themselves to be able to say, I don't have to train today. Like that's an yeah. important psychological skill that you develop. You what, say this rest day is important. Yeah. What I was doing was cause I was one of those people, but I would wear flat shoes and I would snatch, I mean, I was snatching 140 at this point. Mm-hmm. I was where I would wear flat shoes and I would snatch 90 kilos for two or three singles. And then I would clean and jerk uh, 120 for two or three singles. And then, that, and then maybe like do some stretching and leave the gym. Okay. Yeah. Okay. For me, that was like just helping me feel sane. Yeah. Like yeah, instead yeah, of sitting yeah. on the fucking couch and I didn't yeah. want to go walk. I didn't want to. I wanted to snatch and clean and jerk. Yeah. That's nothing. That's not a stimulant. Yeah, you know, yeah, so yeah. in that way, I made the sad head voices go away <laughs> without ruining my training in the yeah. future. Um, okay. So if you have any questions, we'll finish up in the next like 60 seconds. So if you have anything you want to ask, add it in. I have one for the moment. So there's favorite submissions. My current favorite, I think, is probably ankle locks or corner lapel choke or from side mount or full mount. Zach? Favorite submission? The bow and arrow. arrow. I knew you were going to say bow and arrow. Uh, minus smother choke from the t- from mount. Uh, so nice wet rash guard on. Ugh. Get that face contact and just fucking sit there. Uh, mine is, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks very much, everyone. I'll get, I think that's everything. Okay, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Lads, really appreciate it. More Japan content coming to you soon. Sarms. Hi. Hi. Hide the Sarms. <laughs>